If your bed's safety rails have two hooks like this, continue watching. If they have three hooks like this, please fast forward to the minute mark listed on screen. Learn how to easily assemble Delta Children's toddler bed by following this step-by-step -step video. This video will work for any one of Delta's character toddler beds. Carefully unwrap the box. Locate the hardware parts and the instructions. Neatly lay out all the large components. Confirm that all parts listed in the instruction manual are included before you begin. For some steps, you'll need your own Phillips head screwdriver. To begin assembly on the fabric mattress support, you'll need the fabric support, two male bars, two female bars, three crossbars, and two screws labeled X. Step one, make sure the warning label on the mattress support is facing down. Then slide two male bars through the fabric tunnels on either side of the mattress support. Step two, Insert one crossbar through the fabric tunnel and into the holes on each one of the male bars. Twist one of the male bars to easily slide the crossbar in. Step three, slide one female bar through the fabric tunnel and connect it to the male bar. Step four, on top of the fabric support, insert one crossbar into the center holes on the male bars. Make sure the holes on the crossbar are facing up and align with the holes on the male bars. Twist one of the male bars to easily slide the crossbar in. Step five, slide the last crossbar through the fabric tunnel and into the hole on the female bar. Step six, slide the remaining female bar into the fabric tunnel and connect it to the male bar. Then easily join the crossbar and the last female bar by twisting the female bar. Step seven, attach the center crossbar to both male bars with two screws labeled X. Tighten with your Phillips head screwdriver. To begin the assembly on the bed frame, you'll need the headboard, footboard, safety rails, long legs, short legs, center legs, headboard and footboard stickers, as well as six bolts labeled V, 10 bolts labeled W, and 12 nuts labeled Y. Before you construct the frame, apply the stickers to the headboard and footboard. The sticker for the headboard should be on the same side as the Delta label and will end up facing the inside of the bed. Step eight, begin on the frame by sliding one long leg onto the plastic plug on the headboard. Make sure the flat side of the long leg is facing the inside. Attach it with one bolt labeled V. Do not tighten the bolt all the way at this time. Repeat for the other side. Step nine, now slide one short leg onto the plastic plug on the footboard. Again, making sure the flat side of the leg is facing the inside. Attach it with one bolt labeled V. Do not tighten the bolt all the way at this time. Repeat for the other side. Step 10. With the warning label facing up, insert the fabric mattress support into the bed frame, making sure the flat end of the frames are on the inside of the legs. To easily attach the mattress support to the headboard and footboard, slide one side in high and the other side in low. Secure in each corner by placing one bolt labeled W and one nut labeled Y into the pre-drilled holes in the frame. Tighten with your Phillips head screwdriver. Step 11. Now attach the center legs to the bed frame by snapping them into place. Secure with one nut labeled Y and one bolt labeled V on each leg. Tighten with your Phillips head screwdriver. Step 12 and 13. Next, snap the safety rails onto the long legs. Make sure the crescent hooks are facing out. Rotate the safety rails into the inside of the center legs. Step 14. Align the holes in the safety rails with the holes in the center legs. Attach with one bolt labeled W and one nut labeled Y on each side. Tighten with your Phillips head screwdriver. At this point, return to all the bolts you left loose in previous steps and make sure they are securely tightened. Congratulations on assembling your toddler bed from Delta Children. If your bed came with a tent attachment or if you purchased one separately, please visit Delta Children's YouTube page to view that assembly video.
Learn how to easily assemble Delta Children's plastic toddler bed by following this step-by-step -step video. This video will work for any one of Delta's plastic toddler beds, including those with the 3D footboards. Lay out all the components. Confirm that all parts listed in the instruction manual are included before you begin. For some steps, you'll need your own Phillips head screwdriver. To begin assembly on the fabric mattress support, you'll need the fabric support, two female bars, two male bars, three crossbars, and two screws labeled X. Step one, make sure the warning label on the mattress support is facing down. Then, slide two male bars through the fabric tunnels on either side of the mattress support. Step two, insert one crossbar through the fabric tunnel and into the holes on each one of the male bars. Twist one of the male bars to easily slide the crossbar in. Step three, Slide one female bar through the fabric tunnel and connect it to the male bar. Step four. On top of the fabric support, insert one crossbar into the center holes on the male bars. Make sure the holes on the crossbar are facing up and align with the holes on the male bars. Twist one of the male bars to slide the crossbar in. Step five. Slide the last crossbar through the fabric tunnel and into the hole on the female bar. Step six. Slide the remaining female bar into the fabric tunnel and connect it to the male bar. Step seven, attach the center crossbar to both male bars with two screws labeled X. Tighten with your Phillips head screwdriver. To begin the assembly on the bed frame, you'll need the headboard, footboard, safety rails, long legs, short legs, center legs, headboard and footboard stickers, as well as four bolts labeled Z, 10 bolts labeled W, two bolts labeled V, and 12 lock nuts labeled Y. Before you construct the frame, apply the stickers to the headboard and footboard. The sticker for the headboard should be on the same side as the Delta label and will end up facing the inside of the bed. Step eight. Begin on the frame by sliding the open end of the long legs through the half moons on the safety rails. Push the open ends of the long legs onto the plastic plugs on the headboard. Step nine, attach the long legs to the headboard by aligning the hole on the leg with the hole on the headboard. Secure with one bolt labeled Z. Do not tighten the bolt all the way at this time. Repeat for the other side. Step 10. Slide the open end of one short leg onto the plastic plug on the footboard. Secure it with one bolt labeled Z. Do not tighten the bolt all the way at this time. Repeat for the other side. Step 11, 
With the warning label facing up, insert the fabric mattress support into the bed frame, making sure the flat end of the frames are on the inside of the legs. Secure in each corner with two bolts labeled W and two lock nuts labeled Y into the pre-drilled holes in the frame. Tighten with your Phillips head screwdriver. Step 12. Lastly, attach the center legs to the bed frame by snapping them into place. Secure the center legs and the safety rails you attached earlier with two lock nuts labeled Y, one bolt labeled V, and one bolt labeled W. Tighten with your Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat for the other side. Return to all the bolts you left loose in previous steps and make sure they are securely tightened. Congratulations on assembling your plastic toddler bed from Delta Children. If your bed came with a tent attachment or you purchased one separately, please visit Delta Children's YouTube page to view that assembly video.